Damn it. There we go. Can you hear it? You can hear it. You can hear me? <laughs> Starting all fucked up tonight. <laughs> we can do this. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right, welcome everybody to Canapornia, the 29th episode, uh, Cannabis and Porn from California. Tonight, Ooh. my guest is porn star and penthouse pet, Olive Glass. That's me. Yay. <laughs> hey, guys. This is my first time meeting her, uh, and I met her in my truck. She was coming down the street, and I go, like, who's this hot-ass white girl? She was like... <laughs> She's <laughs> walking I, down the street. Yeah, because for the sketch. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I parked. I had to park in the street. The parking lot's fucking packed. I couldn't get in the garage, the underground garage. So I parked on the street. I'm parking my truck, and then, like I said, I see her walking, and I, then finally I see the face. I go, "Oh yeah, that's her. She's so pretty. You know, she stands Aww. out." All so, I could see was this one right here, and I was just like, <laughs> "What?" is going on who is that man waving at me yeah <laughs> what is that what is this no, I, I knew who you were <laughs> yeah she says uh, first some fucking fat cholos waving at me and next to him is a goddamn well, psycho clown i thought it was like a real person and i was just like staring at it waiting for him to move and he yeah. wasn't moving and i was like is this a trick am i being like punked right now is something like what's happening <laughs> yeah yeah she's pretty scary that's not creepy that's not creepy everybody you guys all should know her by now that's my shotgun right there. Yeah. Um, but anyway, she uh, so I blow my horn at her, and she just, she's just kind of looking at us. And like most porn stars, she don't give a fuck. Porn, I've always said <laughs> porn stars are so badasses, dude. When you think of some of the like situations they go to, like to shoot porn, like and you'll go by yourselves. Like that, I've always oh, like am. tripped out on that. It's like on the top of a mountain in the middle of the Sahara. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like things or like some that fucking where you're just like, a, like weird place. Ghetto ass building in a fucked up, you know, uh, downtown somewhere. But uh, yeah, they show up. And um, so they got balls. They got balls. But Thanks. everybody wants to talk about their pussy. Rightly so. <laughs> rightly so. Okay. Um, so how's it going? How are you doing? Good. Um, I just got back from europe for a birthday trip not too long <sighs> ago and How cool is that? it was so rad and um i'm just kind of getting back into the swing of things here yeah in la and yeah i've just been doing a lot of chilling since i got back honestly like i was kind of jet lagged for a while and i mean i was in the arctic for a week damn and so i'm like coming back people are like it's so cold in la and i'm like i'm going out in a swimming suit <laughs> like this way yeah. is great <laughs> so um, now, what, were, what were you doing in Europe? What were you doing in, in the Arctic? I was dog sledding in Svalbard, Norway wow. for my birthday, just for the hell of it. I'm like putting together like a photo book mm -hmm. um, of the experience. And right. so I just had like a bunch of disposable cameras and was just like shooting up a storm and in the middle of like an Arctic tundra for a week. It was rad. I, I like, I looked like, um, like a marshmallow, like how many layers I had on. Yeah, imagine what <laughs> like, I would look like. <laughs> Fuck. It was just like, <laughs> literally I was wearing three like snow jumpsuits and then had my head wrapped up with a scarf and like. Damn, was what so was the funny. temperature? Uh, it was negative 25. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, one night it dropped to negative 30, but that was like the hardcore. Like we went outside and we actually couldn't go outside at night without um, somebody with us because of the threat of polar bears. Yeah. It was like very real. And so I went out once to go to the bathroom in the outhouse <laughs> and the tour guide's with us with a rifle and my eyelashes froze over now what does he have a rifle for what's out there just in case of polar bears coming by polar there. bears yeah because Fuck. you can't shoot them like it's completely illegal to shoot them unless it's like they're attacking they're gonna kill you but sometimes they do they actually really are known to enjoy punching through windows wow they don't know why but they they love punching through windows <laughs> now who, who are you out there with uh, i just i just went with like a tour group just, just by yourself. <laughs> Who is that? How fucking cool is rad. that? Damn. Yeah. So that's what I was just mm -hmm. doing, and then I was also in like London and uh, just hanging out. And um, now, how often back. do you do this? Um, this was once a year. Is like my big. So I do like one new thing a month. Is like my my goal, right? Is to yeah. do one big thing a month in the area that I'm in uh -huh. by myself, and then once a year. I go on like a really big like adventure solo. Right. So usually it's like going overseas to do something or like last year I was in Scotland. I traveled all through Scotland on the train. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. Dude, I haven't yeah. done a new thing since I married my wife in 1987. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Damn, that's cool. A new thing every month. Yeah, so um, next month I'm taking, or actually in May, I'll be taking, um, I'm getting my pilot's license this year. So I'm going to be wow. starting starting to learn to fly in May, which uh-huh. is just like, I'm afraid of heights, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> going to be a big deal. And then, like, I've gone on, you know, um, hot air balloon rides and... Really, the only reason I can afford this is because I do porn. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just like taking advantage of it and just, you know, going Dude, on. Dude, what adventures. a cool life. What a cool life. Thank you. Yeah, it's fun. It's What's a good, some good scary one. shit that's happened to you? Uh, like when I'm doing that sort of thing? Yeah. Uh, okay, so the hot air balloon ride uh-huh. fucking crashed. Can I swear? Yes, of okay, course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it crashed, uh-huh. but it was like slow motion crash into a um, middle school playground because we got blown wow. off course like 10, 12 miles. Uh-huh. And then we ran out of the, the gas, the helium. I, I don't even know what they right. use in hot uh. air balloons. The fire was going out. <laughs> and Fuck. so we started coming down and we we're like, we were calling up farmers and saying, can we land in your property? And they're like, no. And we're like, what are we supposed to do? I'm sorry. There's no hot air balloon parking lots around here. Yeah. So, so then. <laughs> now, how fast are you coming down? It was really slow, but it was still like. It was like, okay, this was not, sp- this was completely unplanned. Right. The guy, you can tell that the guy who is piloting it is uh-huh. like he's acting calm. <laughs> oh, but okay. He was, he was acting calm. Like he wasn't calm. I'm really good at reading right. people's emotions. And I'm like, I, I don't know. It was six in the morning and I was just like, I just want a fucking coffee. Like we were coming down on top of this um, middle school and I thought we were going to land on the roof. Okay. And the teachers come running out and they're like, what is going on? And I'm like, could you get us some coffee? We'll, oh. be, we'll be down in a second. <laughs> like, wow. And then we landed and it fell over. And then all the kids came running. It was like really funny. It was like something from a movie. So so, so you were coming out really slow then. It was Real really slow. slow. Yeah. Um, yeah, it wasn't like flying down at full uh-huh. speed. I would have not been that chill. I would have been also shitting bricks. Right. But okay. yeah. And then I don't know when I went to Svalbard. Um, I had my own dog sled and I, it's to get them to go you say gee and they went and I fell off the back and I had to chase them through like really deep snow and I was like oh my god if these eight dogs get away from me right now I don't even know what like I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere like I was off by myself for just like a few hours but I'm like I don't know you do a lot of shit solo mm-hmm. yeah that's yeah. pretty cool nobody will go on these crazy like weird adventures with me when i ask i'm just like do you want to go to svalbard and they're like no yeah now what it's what have you there. done what have you done like in in the united states like what if uh, um gosh what have i done in the united states i mean i've traveled all over the united states when i was like right. like 16 to 19 i hitchhiked all across the country <laughs> hitchhike uh-huh. dude that's fucking ballsy too. it was ballsy it was so ballsy looking back i'm like i'm just it wasn't ballsy at the time because I didn't realize anything could go wrong. I was just like, yeah, this is what I do. <laughs> yeah, this is what I do. And now I'm like, I'm 28 and I look back and I'm like. I just get in cars and <gasps> trucks and strangers. Who oh gives my a God. fuck? <laughs> I don't wow. spot. How old were you? 16 to like 19-ish, 18. Yeah. So it was a little runaway. Punk yeah. rock runaway. Now, okay, when you were hitchhiking, what were you wearing? Um, You know, I like think usually. I was we- like, I was just wearing like a sweater and usually like I, I wear stretch pants. Uh huh. Well, go ahead. Do me a favor. <laughs> stand up. You guys, dude. Uh, uh, Olive has a killer body. Olive glass. Olive glass. Everybody. Look at that. <laughs> just the just the right amount of curves. <laughs> just the right amount of curves that make you shoot your load real fast, real fast. Yeah. Um. So you're hitchhiking. Mm-hmm. Now, okay. You you were 16. What is your family thinking at this time? Um. They let me go. They Uh were like, I mean, they like, when I was 16, they were, uh, it's like a long story. They're like Mormon and I wasn't Mormon. Okay. And I just, I didn't fit into the community that we were in at all. And then they were like, we're going to move across the country. And I was like, no, we're not. I'm I'm not not going with you. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And they, they kind of knew that if they made me go, I would have just like run away anyway. So it was kind of like, um, my mom didn't. So you're pretty independent. Yeah. Yeah. Got a little head strong. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's how I am pretty much socially and politically. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm pretty independent. Yeah, um, I think that it's good to like, I don't know, with independence, there comes just that like reliance on like your own inner dialogue that yeah. 
and it's easier to sift through them say like a twitter feed so <laughs> yeah and it's the same thing like with religion too like mm -hmm. you know this tattoo it says uh believe in yourself yeah that's great you know instead of all this other stuff and, and i don't put down people that are in religion you know i'm not going to put down buddhists or christians no. or whatever Everybody if that's what you believe way. go for it cool just as long as you're cool people i just hate it when they start uh, attacking other people you yeah know. well that's, that's kind of the thing like you could be like a dick bag regardless of your yeah. religion or non-religion exactly. or spiritual practice like if you're just gonna be a jerk you're just gonna be a jerk right <laughs> i just like people who aren't jerks yeah um, yeah and i think like i personally gravitate towards people who are more independent just because that's how i am and i understand people's motives better when they're like that because you know that they're like looking out for themselves and then the people that they have around them are people that they obviously really care about. Right. Because otherwise they don't they don't need them, you know. They just want them there. Yeah. So that's the difference. You know what I've been uh, been into lately on YouTube? I watch a lot of YouTube. A lot. Uh, every night, late at night. Uh, I've been watching a lot of people uh, that live uh, off the grid, like in their vans. Mm-hmm. You know, or RVs or whatever. And they yeah. just go from state to state or whatever. And, uh, oh, man, I just love that. I just love There's that. a couple of porn girls that I love dearly who do that. Um, Ashley Lane, do you know who she is? No. She's like BDSM queen, just like little uh -huh. long blonde hair, like totally sweet little face. And then she's just like the most hardcore sub that I've ever met. <laughs> she's so intense. She's wonderful. And then um, Jade Nile is another one. Okay. She's like a vixen and super hot. And she lives in her van and just travels the country. And Yeah. Stops and they, you know, they do shoots around the country and then they just continue traveling. <laughs> yeah, I follow, I follow a few on Instagram. There's one, I think, it's, it's, I think it's called One Chick Rules or One Chick Something. She's super popular. I think cool. she's like the most popular on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, she puts up some pretty cool videos, but she's also a rock climber. Mm -hmm. And it seems like a lot of them are. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a little community. Um, but it's pretty cool. Like, I, I would like to do that because I, I have an RV. Yeah old ass yeah. rv it's a 1972 <laughs> travel line i'll post some pictures on my instagram you guys will uh, crack up because people love it yeah uh, i think they're so cute old rvs are just like yeah have you seen the hills have eyes uh, no i'm afraid of scary movies like that <laughs> yeah well it's just like that it's just like i'll post some pictures because yeah. like uh i think i've seen like the the rv you're talking about though yeah I this is pretty uh about. it's pretty old and <laughs> kind of scary looking and then I love we ha I have this thing called the Beach Club, mm -hmm. which is really just me and my wife's family. And every summer, like every other Saturday, we go to Bolsa Chica, Bolsa so, Chica State Beach. Mm -hmm. And dude, my RV gets so much love, yeah, so much love, especially from older it. people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just love it. They're like, man, that thing still runs. <laughs> yeah, you know. But yeah, I love it. All right, here we go. Here Talk we about go. some porno. Oh, sex. Yes. Now. I seen an interview you did, and <laughs> hopefully they quoted you right. Okay. Um, they said that the kind of porn you were into, you said you were mainly into four types of porn. Let's see if you agree. It was one was big toys. Yeah, I was I like went through a really intense phase with big toys too, where like it was all that I wanted to watch. I haven't watched big toy porn in a while. Okay. But now, how big are we talking about? I mean, I really just like seeing what girls can fit <laughs> yeah know? so honestly it's like it depends on the girl and it's just like i mean okay so the first time i ever saw it i was like maybe 21 and i like found this where, where did you see it i don't even i don't remember the internet? who yeah it was the okay internet. i don't remember who it was by i don't remember any of the details other than it was like the gym coach and then a few <laughs> girls uh -huh. and they were she was teaching them how to play basketball or softball okay and this couldn't have been a mainstream because she was using a baseball bat with a condom on a it baseball but bat yeah but she was like fucking them like and they were going slow it was like you know they were obviously having a good time but it was a baseball bat which side which the end? big side the big end and i remember watching it and if my first reaction was like well that's fucked up and then i was like it's kind of hot and then i was just from there i was like i just it's just really hot. <laughs> so I brought I brought a little thing of sound effects, <laughs> and I think a I think noise? no, I think this is a good one. Like right before they put the bat like all the way mm -hmm. in, let's see what you guys think. 
<laughs> Batter well, up. Okay, now are, did you watch this? The ma- did you masturbate? Yeah, totally. Yes. Yeah, I like the first few minutes was just like me, like kind no, of. No, like, just your hands, your fingers, or did you get something too? Did you get a baseball? Bat? No, I was just. I didn't. I don't even remember where I was or what I was doing exactly. But I just used my fingers. I think I didn't have anything with me. But yeah. after that, I was like, I remember with my boyfriend at the time. Uh huh. Is he like, watching it with you? Uh, no, he wasn't. But I like had him watch it with me later. Oh, okay. Like, Look at this, and he was like. He was like so much, <laughs> was like, so much more of a square than me. Like all my boyfriend, right. ex-boyfriends have been like way too square for me. So uh-huh. just, you know, that's why they're ex-boyfriends. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I was like, you know, uh, those uh, Mexican Coke bottles have that like really hot end to them. Where it's just like the bigger end. Do you want to try it? And he's like, no. Mm. <laughs> so I tried it later on. I like cleaned it really well. Just the it. fact she said Mexican got me hard. <laughs> that, that's all it took. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, so I like cleaned off the like bigger end of a Mexican Coke bottle, and I use that like the glass ones, you know, and they're like kind of shaped. Yeah, they're they're pretty. I mean, pretty them. thick. Yeah, and it takes a while. Like you've got to like work it in. You can't just be like, like it's in there, you know. You gotta <laughs> like the sound effect. Yeah, that one on there. <laughs> yeah. Um and yeah, it was cool. It like so I. Now, how I, old were you when when this happened? Do you remember? This was when I was still like maybe twenty twenty one. It was okay. like sometime in there. I yeah. kind of like blossomed late <laughs> i didn't i wasn't allowed to watch like oh obviously i wasn't allowed to watch porn as a kid like no right cares. but you weren't like mormons aren't allowed to like explore their sexuality too much at all uh-huh. you know so i was like the good girl where i totally masturbated all the time but i was like no i've never masturbated like i'm saving myself for my husband yeah yeah obviously that didn't really pan now out how old were you <laughs> we say when you started masturbating and what did, what oh, did you really, masturbate yeah. to i mean i feel like it's pretty like well known just scientifically that kids like learn to masturbate before they even like have memory, you know? Like Wow, that's going way back. Mm-hmm. When they're like like infants is when is was when children start like like fiddling with themselves, you know. And so like wow. I know that I've I knew I, I never heard that. I never heard Yeah, that. I was weird. reading a study on it. It was actually really fascinating. Um, about so how babies. Like, it's very natural to masturbate. Humans just do it naturally. Yeah. Um, now, is it because it just feels good? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just start touching yourself. Totally. And I mean, it's like, oh, hey. When I was like a kid doing it, I wasn't like, I know exactly what I'm doing right now. I was just like, this is fun. You know, it, it was like so innocent. And yeah. then like when I realized what I was doing, um, like the, I, I remember the first time I masturbated with my hand, mm-hmm. like like pr- properly <laughs> like like knowingly like masturbating i was i think i was like 17 or 18 years old the first okay time i did it yeah and that's more like, like it yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's more more uh cooler that i guess we could talk about yeah. yeah 17 18 okay yeah and i was just like in a bath and i was just like oh it, the shower heads too those are the shit yeah shower heads like really good ones that you can like play with those yeah. are amazing um but yeah those are like my first i was like masturbating in bathtubs because you're like all warm and like everything's all wet right. <laughs> and then like figuring out that you could use shower heads yeah Dude, you have a sexy voice doesn't olive have a sexy Thanks. voice <laughs> yeah olive glass everybody wait what's your twitter and instagram and all that before um, we forget my instagram sorry i have a candy in my mouth <laughs> is glass olive and then my twitter is olive underscore glass underscore okay so it's a little all bit right there's her twitter and there's her instagram yeah. and if people want to book you for porn uh, then you, yeah, you can uh, hit up my agency, which is ATMLA. So it's Mark at ATMLA dot com. There you is go. My agent's email. So yeah, hit him up or hit me up. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to the Coke bottle. Okay, yeah, so we'll you're go back to the Coke bottle. You're the fucking yourself studies. with the Coke bottle. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, now this was your alone, right? This is before mm-hmm. the boyfriend comes in. No, he wouldn't do it with me, so no, I was like, fine. Do it like I'm gonna do it myself then. Like you wouldn't fuck you with the coke bottle. No, oh, I know. Are are we not all offended for me right now? Oh <laughs> like, God. that's one of my things since I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Okay, I've always been to um, fucking girls with objects. Yeah. Now I don't know if that's because I have a fucking small dick. <laughs> But I just love putting big shit in girls' it's pussies. It's good, right? As long as they're into it, it's consensual, <laughs> yeah. and they love it, and they're getting off on it, okay? Um, so it's always about consensual. It's always about consent. Got um, my kids. Yeah. And so I've always been into that. 
Yeah, like, like like my poor wife. I've been trying to stick shit up my wife for <laughs> like I said since 1987, and she's always like, no, no, <coughs> no, no. <laughs> but I love. You just gotta uh, find the right thing. Eventually, like you'll find the right thing, and she'll yeah. be like, yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, what I need to get is a a dildo with Tom Brady's head on it. To oh fuck my her. god, dildos she loves with, Tom Brady. with people's heads on it in general. Are those a thing? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen one. It has to be a thing. That's brilliant. Yeah. This is your million dollar idea right there. But I think that's the only way I could do it. Or I'd probably or, get like Liam Neeson's head. Or, or Aquaman. The new Aquaman that was in the... The Shape of... Wonder Woman movie, I think. Water? <laughs> yeah. No, The Shape of Water. <laughs> what do you think about that? A, um, fucking, a movie about a girl falling in love with a fish wins the Oscar. Wins the best picture. Yeah. What does that mean? Um... I mean, I think, I, I, honestly, I think Americans are, like, obsessed with bestiality. I mean, like, yeah. the beast and, you know, like, like I just, like, there's so many instances. I was just, like, looking at something online about that today where they're, like, God forbid there's, like, gay anything in a movie, but then it's, like, uh, excuse me, this guy just won an Oscar for, like, a woman A, a, fish, a fish fucking a girl. <laughs> Yeah. Because that's like better than seeing two, like two girls kiss or two guys kiss. Well, right. Well, think about Beauty and the Beast. I know. Cartoon. It's literally, he kidnaps a girl. She's like, like Stockholm Syndrome. I, I just, I just, and then he's like a giant, what, what is he? Like a giant werewolf Like a werewolf thing? or something. Yeah. Yeah. And this woman is just like, yeah, well, he's kept me here for long enough. I guess I'm just like. DTF now. <laughs> you know, <the laughs> I don't get it. Staying on the subject, because this is one of this is <laughs> this is one of the questions we ask, and we've had some pretty good answers. Uh, I call it the zoophilia bestiality segment. Mm -hmm. Oh. If you had, okay, to fuck or suck an animal, right? What would it be? Example: a dog, mm. a bear, monkey, octopus, whatever. If you had to fuck an animal, what would it be? God, that's such a hard question. I would say a dolphin, but then recently I like looked up dolphin penises and they're like yay big and they wrap around you and it's just like it's just weird. So, <coughs> um, I said I, I would fuck a dolphin because of the blowhole. You did? Oh my I god, we both picked dolphins. <laughs> I would fuck the blowhole and hold on to the fin. Yeah, well, Do you know, you know what I mean? people have like been recorded having dolphin lovers before. What do you mean? What does that mean? Okay, okay. I read this article about this dude. I'm like just bringing up all these articles all of a sudden. But like, read this article about this dude who said that he had a dolphin lover for like 13 years. And apparently, dolphin vaginas are like really similar to like human vaginas. Oh, and wow. They have like the ability to basically like be partners with other dolphins. And so that also extends to humans. And so there are recorded dolphin, human, boyfriend, girlfriend things wow which is just like so <laughs> like, so would you i don't even the, know how to comprehend where's, where's their it. pussy at like do i don't know the end i googled what a dolphin vagina looked like though and it looks just like weirdly like a human vagina yeah does it have a clitoris i don't know <laughs> i know some people are watching right now and know the answers are like what the fuck, the fuck are we <laughs> already gone down like five really really weird conversations like <laughs> stay with us guys okay so, so anybody, if anybody knows <laughs> uh <laughs> hit me up on twitter or instagram i not i want to dolph do well okay do animals have clitorises period <laughs> any animal yeah i don't know there, i think there's so few animals that like have sex for fun yeah i mean Dude, how weird is that Today at work, these are kind of <laughs> these are the kind of <laughs> conversations I have at work. Okay, I asked the guys at work today, "Hey, do animals ha uh, enjoy sex? Like, do they do they have sex for pleasure, or is it just to reproduce? Um, because the females always look like it's killing them. You ever seen a lion fucking but uh, I mean, another lion? That's probably what they think when they look at us having sex. They're like, oh, especially if it's my <laughs> wife. My <laughs> wife looks like she's fucking dying, or that's that like she a died." Good thing, like. <laughs> Like, if you look like you're dying, but, like, that just yeah. means the sex is good. Yeah, my wife looks like she's crying or dying or, or both, mm -hmm. you know. And she, lucky for her, I have premature ejaculation. I come fast, like, super fast. <laughs> like, under, like, like, sometimes we don't even fuck. If she just, like, massages my balls. Just the right movements. Yeah. Not even that. Just massages my balls. Especially if she has kind of some fingernails going. Yeah. Ugh. I've I'll orgasmed come. once when somebody was massaging my feet. 
and I was trying to be like the super, bottom of like, your feet just my feet in general I didn't uh-huh. realize I like I'm not like I didn't think I had a foot fetish and then honestly there was just like some guy that I was seeing and he was just like massaging my feet and I was just like it was so relaxing and then I like had like a little orgasm oh no like, you just had an orgasm I yeah I was just I was just like what it just surprised me it yeah like, it just happened. <laughs> like, I mean, it was great. Don't was he wrong. like, was he surprised? Or you're like, I do this all the time. I, I think he was, he, I don't think he understood what was happening necessarily. What the fuck? Guys don't want to fuck you with a Coke <laughs> bottle. Guys don't know when you're coming. <laughs> oh, shit. I know. Who are you dating? <laughs> you might as well hook up with a sex robot. What do you think I about that? I was literally about to say that. I would be so down for that. Yeah. I'm not oh, afraid of too. that at all. Like, and my wife said she wouldn't consider it cheating. She'd just be happy I'm trying yeah. to fuck something else, not her. <laughs> yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah, I would love a <laughs> sex robot, but they're too fucking expensive. They're or expensive. the sex dolls, whatever you want to call them. I follow uh, somebody who makes sex dolls. I think they're called Real Doll or the Real Doll something. Mm. And oh my God, their dolls are unbelievable. What? Oh, I'm and they like go to the porn conventions. AVN? Were they at AVN? I think so. Okay, so I was um, at AVN. When I was at AVN, there was a table where they were selling those sex dolls. Mm-hmm. And they I think they were moving the table, and they had just, like, stacked the sex dolls on a table prior to moving them. Yeah. And I walked by, didn't know what I was looking at, and thought it was just, like, a bunch of people, like... Yeah. Like, piled on a table. Yeah, they naked. look real. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> they look real. And I, I was like, oh, I thought they were real. And, they're, and they were, like, so unfazed. I'm sure everybody walks by and goes... <gasps> You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's no, they they look real as fuck now. It's not, uh, if you guys have a chance, just Google sex dolls, <laughs> you won't believe how real they are. And suppose you feel too, I, like, I've never felt one, but uh, they're made out anything. of like a fleshy, whatever, like silicone. Vice has like a documentary on the when they first started getting popular, and it was in Japan, of uh-huh. course. Everything's always in Japan, yeah, everything always starts off in Japan, in Japan. are some freaks. We got freaks. some like weird kinks going on, and I'm so down with it. Like, yeah. and um, there was a guy who like they were interviewing who collected must have been like 30, 35 sex dolls, and he was showing this one, and I've never been able to get this image of, out of my head of this like one sex doll that would like bite your finger while you put your finger in its mouth. Uh huh. It would just be like, I don't know, the way it moved its lips was like so lifelike, but not quite. Right. And it, like haunts me to this day. <laughs> was it a girl one? <laughs> mm hmm. Super hot, like, like, robot thing. I don't know. It was Man, I would love that. I would love that. Yeah. I think eventually, I think they'll get more affordable. Right now, they're fucking expensive. They're really expensive. Um, yeah, uh, there's a woman named Stacy Lay in New York that makes sex dolls. That, yeah. like, she does casts of, like, porn stars and stuff and, and sells the sex dolls. I really want mm, a sure sex comes doll. To LA, I want to have her on here with her sex dolls. Yeah, I, I would yeah. have to, I forget what her, I'm following her on like Instagram, but she's really cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. Here's the, now the first one was big toys. Here's her mm-hmm. second one that she said she's really into. Fisting. Yeah, I think that goes along with the big toys thing. Like yeah. I just like to have try to Have you fisted fit. anybody? You, okay, so I haven't ever tried fisting before. Oh, okay. Um, I really want to. I've gotten close to it. I haven't been booked for it. I really want to get booked. You with Alex. Somebody book her for fisting. Come yes. on. Yes. Um, and so I've like I've been around it. I once fit my foot into a girl's pussy. That was actually pretty hot. The whole foot, including the heel? No, just like um just up until up until the heel heel. Yeah. So like right about there. There. Yeah. <laughs> for the viewers. And um that was cool. She was like, I just want to see what it would be like. Yeah. Be like you're afraid of my toenails, and I was just like, no, just stick it in there. We yeah. covered it in lube, and so I went for it. It was, was kind of cool. And you fuck her with it, or yeah, well, I kind it? of like I didn't, I didn't want to like accidentally kick her or something, so I was just right. like, she was like in doggy, and I was sitting on a couch in her living room, and so I just kind of like held my foot still and like let her go to town. Yeah. <laughs> It was, uh, it was hot. Cool. Her boyfriend was like sitting with the camera. like Can I Oh, you man. You, you These fuckers are lucky hanging out with you. Yeah. Th- this is a fun couple. They're a married couple. And so yeah. they're always having like whenever I go to New York, she's like one of my best friends. And right. she is like a hypersexual human being. Don't you love Olive's life? Don't you? <laughs> 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 See, you, gr- you, you girls out there, you got to be more independent. Don't be... F- don't be right away hooking up with guys in high school and just listening to them the rest of your fucking life. 
Yeah. There's a, such a big world out there to do things, and not just sex things, but all kinds of things, you Everything. know? Yeah, I was, I mean, a serial monogamist for a, a good deal of my, um, you know, like late teens to up until I was 25, which was not that long ago. Yeah. And then I was engaged. I broke off the engagement, and I was like, I can't anymore. I'm just going to explore and just do my own thing. I just want to adventure. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't have, like, all my boyfriends would get, like, so jealous because, you know, I, I feel like I have a really awesome life, and a lot of it goes along with my job, and so I can't take, like, boyfriends on my jobs with me. Right. And so they would get, like, jealous or pouty, and I'd be like, I just can't handle this, so bye. <laughs> yeah, see ya. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, the third one. Mm -hmm. And I've been seeing this a lot lately, it seems like, on, on Twitter. Like all these girls wearing daddy shirts or whatever, or saying daddy. What is that? What is daddy porn? Oh, I just like the, um, like the incest stuff. I know it's like people the have taboo, like, yeah, the taboo, the taboo stuff. Porn. That is the most popular. It is, that is the really most popular. popular right now. And it's people who say searched. they don't like it are probably like, okay, maybe they don't like it. But like a lot of people say they don't like it when like, it's the most search porn in the world currently. Well, this is, this is what I say about taboo porn, right? If you're getting that turned on watching it, that kind of tells you that you feel bad about <laughs> it. So you, you should actually yeah, feel good about it because it's bothering you so much. It's turning you on that much. Mm -hmm. So but yes, yeah, the most popular like I love the older woman, younger woman. taboo. Yeah, porn. I like <sighs> that, too. And then I loved uh, I had one because I almost all my porn. <laughs> I have it on VHS. I used to uh, rent uh, or buy <laughs> um, pornos and VHS, and then I would record them on my VCR. Sweet. So I have a VHS case. Porn. Yeah, I have a case Shit. of pornos all from the 80s and 90s. Oh, my God, that's and, amazing. Um, I yo and then I found this one, I can't, and I can never find it again. It was all about hitchhiking. Ooh. And these young girls would hitchhike, and Do these you know older women the would pick them too. up. Yeah, and uh, oh, those are like my favorite. They're and so um, good. yeah, but that's my favorite kind of taboo taboo porn: the older woman, younger uh, woman kind. I like it, especially. Yeah. As, but but the woman does have to be older. <laughs> uh, what I hate is when they get like two twenty-two year olds, and one yeah. of them is supposed to be the older one. I go, come on, you couldn't find somebody in their thirties or forties or even fifties. Yeah. Okay, so I had my first. Um, like older woman porn scene with uh, Kelly Madison. Kelly yeah, Madison. Yeah. Yeah. I know who that is. Right. And Ryan and Ke Ryan and Kelly. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, it was years ago, and it was super hot. She's like, you know, I think she was in her late forties, early fifties at that uh -huh. point. Now, how old are and you? I was twenty-two. Okay. So I had like a really short stint of I did like a few porn scenes and then mm. stopped for years and then just recently came back. So, oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. What made you come back? Because I loved it. I was I was doing mainstream modeling for like seven years and yeah. trying to like be the good like little mainstream model and not do porn. But it's really where my passion is. So yeah, finally gave into that. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, my first was with with her, and um, it was just so hot. I had like never been with an older woman, and she was just like so soft and like sensual and luxurious. And I was I don't know what kind of scene was it. Um, it was. It's called uh, Cirque du Coco. I'm sure some people watching have seen it because it was a really, really cool scene. Uh -huh. um, so my, my poor name when I was trying to be like undercover was Coco. <laughs> okay. Because in French it meant pet. I don't know what I was going, what I was going for with that. But um, uh, I'm like dressed up as this like 1930s like glamorous clown lady. Oh, all right. But it was like sexy clown kind of. Yeah. And... Um, where I was like in this like not really like uh like creepy like over there. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, she's a beautiful woman, but not quite the same. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was like in this like beautiful like black and white checkered like red velvet stripes everywhere, um, set, and then um, it was kind of like a m me daydreaming about the time when I used to be in the circus having clown orgies. Yeah. Like that was the whole setup for it. And it was just the most dreamy, like super sexy. I think it's still one of my most popular scenes. Now, was she like uh, dressed up as a clown too? She, yeah, she was. Uh, they were both dressed up as clowns and like cute okay. little clowns, like slutty clown outfits. Her and yeah. her husband. Now, is she fucking having... you with like 
clown things like toys and no we were just going stuff. for it it was the three of us and we were just like on this setup and we were just like going back and forth and i was kind of just i mean they're husband and wife team and i love being just like the unicorn for husbands and wives sometimes it was yeah just, like, just throw me in there do you go to like, a lot of swinging things not really um i've i definitely like really enjoy going to like dungeons and um you know i i attend sanctum parties uh-huh. occasionally What's that? sanctum is this like um super cool like really exclusive sex parties like Gwyneth Paltrow goes to it wow like you know it's it's really cool and everybody wears like um masks and I I usually perform in them so I'll do like a sex scene um so you come out like to music and everything yeah and it's like very ritualistic the lady who runs it is like this German industrial like goth woman yes and so like the last one was for Valentine's Day and I was like the virgin being sacrificed to the devil and so i like come out in this like long red velvet cape and like uh-huh. give my what kind of music are them. they playing to this they're playing this like, like really gothic? yeah like bassy industrial mm-hmm. i wish it's, i could play that kind of music right now how cool would that be right? it's to go really cool yeah. yeah um but yeah it's super sexy i forget what i was telling you that for um well wait a minute what does the devil look like oh the devil um is this beautiful woman in like red leather harness uh-huh. and she had um a gold mask on with these like gold goat horns that like went up really high and then she was wearing a smaller cape yeah and some heels. what was her body like was um, she thick uh she was she's thicker than i am um yeah i'm trying to think it was because i think thicker is better for stuff like that like if it's a right. devil girl like it's the sticker, like, like my stickers. Sensual you know, and yeah. like, yeah, like just that like luxury that I was talking about of like yeah. the body is just luxurious where there's like a lot of it. And yeah, um, but she was she was like definitely curvy, not too much bigger than me, but a little bit bigger than uh-huh. me. OK, so what happens? Um, and then she fucked me with a strap on. How fun. big is the, the strap on? The strap on was like. I, this is how I'm going to show everything from now on in bottles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mexican Coke bottles. Yeah, Mexican yeah. Coke bottles. I would probably say like like the size of the microphone or this the size kind of like in that arena. Yeah, and it, I would say it was about as long as this too. Cool. Yeah. Now, how long is this going? Now, are you really? Now, how much of it is a performance versus you're just loving it? Like you know, I think that there is definitely. I mean, there is the element of performance. <laughs> and I think some people co- go into these things purely in the performance aspect where they're not really getting off. Mm-hmm. For me, uh, it's a performance aspect, but like that just heightens the like intensity of the moment. Right. And I mean, I was attracted to this woman and I was attracted to the the storyline of me being like the virgin yeah. sacrificing myself to, you know. Now, well, now what is so, this like? Are you on a stage? No, There's so people around you? at midnight at Sanctum parties, I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to be talking about Sanctum, Ugh, they don't give a shit, whatever. And they, at midnight, they like open up the middle of the floor, kind of have everybody stand off to one side. Right. And then um, you walk in and do your performance like right there, but they're all standing around. Yeah. And then you have like maybe like a stage that's like just a step up, you know? Right. And then this one had like a velvet black velvet couch and these like billowing red curtains and yeah so it was very like atmospheric um and so it had like the feeling of being on a stage but you're actually not on a stage okay so. which i like because then it makes everybody else feel like they're a little bit more part of it you know yeah so i and i think that's really cool like i love shared sexual experiences yeah because i think they're just like really i mean there's something like so powerful about that so I t- completely get off to it. <laughs> yeah. So are you are you would you say are you into like public sex? Have you ever done no. that? Which is so funny because I have sex like on set and uh, in front of people, and I have set and things or sex on things like this. Mm-hmm. But I'm not really an exhibitionist, so if it's just like random oh, okay. people watching, I get really nervous. Yeah. <laughs> and, like I'm like oh, I don't want to be here, but um, but I've done it before, and it's just not my thing. But I love yeah. like group sex stuff a lot okay just not like random people and that's how we got into that because you were wondering how did we get into this conversation because mm-hmm. i asked you about the oh, swinging the swinger and thing. stuff yeah yeah even that like when i've done things like been to bsm dungeons or to like swinger parties um i f- i still feel like good about it and i'm still having a great time because it's it's not just like randos it's not like you're in a park you right know? 
So I've been in, I've had good sex in a park though too. I mean, but but yeah, a public you, park. Yeah, but I was like up in a tree. <laughs> Now, how the fuck do you get up in a tree? It was a big how tree. How high is a tree? <laughs> 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 like, what, what do you mean? What do you mean you get up in a tree? You just it climb up there? Like, yeah. It was and the guy's up there, too? Don't tell me the guy didn't want to go up in the tree. <laughs> no, I wanted to go up in the tree. Yeah. And then, because I You just like, couldn't mm. fuck on the grass. <laughs> you had to go up in the tree. <laughs> it's the middle of the day. I don't know. I was like, no. Yeah. But I knew this, like, I knew this park, and there was this one tree that has, like, a, like a dip in it that you could, like, get into. It was, like, pretty big. Uh-huh. And, um. Now, you're fucking on the branch? Mm. Okay, I'll so break that fucking branch. I'll tell you right <laughs> <laughs> Put me on a like, fucking branch. I'll break it. It was like a big trunk. Bring it down a whole tree, birds and shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking squirrels all pissed the off. The entire tree just, just fat <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> fucking raccoons all pissed off. No, it was a <laughs> tree in my old hometown that had almost like this weird step up to it. And then the trunk was really big. And then the branches all broke off. Oh, it didn't break off, but like were going off in different directions. Okay. And, are the, br- and the branches it. are low to the ground? They're, they're so kind of easy they to get go up, up a little bit. Yeah. But there's like an easy way up. And then in the middle of the tree was just like this like flat area where Olive the branches. Olive brought me a chocolate. Olive brought me a chocolate. I thought it'd be fun to show you the best way to eat these. Oh, show me. She puts it in her pussy. <laughs> First <laughs> I melt it in my pussy and then it's easy to eat. Okay, so this is also sexy. So you guys keep keep note. This how Watch you can this. Watch this. Um, oh, you gotta check out. And then you have to use your tongue. Uh huh. And it strengthens your tongue muscles. So. Really? This one's really hard. <laughs> I got the <laughs> one really hard one. Okay. Uh, I think. What is wrong with this one? Mm, okay. <laughs> well, mine has sperm in it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, normally this works because it's like gooey. This one's like not gooey. Mm. We can mm. still have fun licking it though. Yeah. No. And then you can like suck, good. suck it out and then lick it out. Yeah. It's kind of my. Now, what is this? Where'd you get it? What, what are they? Oh. They're good. Mm-hmm. They're so good. So it's the one of the only reasons I like Easter. Um, <laughs> they're Cadbury cream eggs. Mm-hmm. And they're like. You see, they're good, right? You just like suck it out. Yeah, they're real good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they're just really yummy and they're filled with like some sort of white goo. This is probably like gives you cancer or some shit, but <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm licking my wife's asshole right now. Mm-hmm. I always feel like I'm sexing it. Yeah. Whenever I eat these, because I just uh, I'm just like <laughs> like licking them. Yeah. I like be out in public. This is the one thing I will do in public. I'm just like <laughs> eating my candy. You're just like mm. <laughs> oh yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, so let's get back to this tree. You get in the tree. I have lipstick all over my face now. <laughs> no, you're fine. Okay. You're completely naked. Are you completely naked? No, I was During wearing a dress. I just like pulled my dress up. I, oh, okay, hot. Also, is that like a summer dress? Mm-hmm. Are you wearing panties? Mm-mm, I wasn't wearing panties that day. See, I also have this like yes. weird, really, really intense fetish for sex with clothes on. Okay. Like if I'm wearing a dress and just like pulling the dress up and like going for it or like... Yeah, guys and having sex with guys in suits is a really big deal. Just like pulling down and up whatever you need to pull down and up and just like fucking like crazy. Mm -hmm. I fantasize about that a lot. That's actually a huge part of like it's like it's an add on an accoutrement (laughs) to like any fetish or fantasy you might have. It's just like a guy in a suit or like me in a dress and just like pulling the dress up and going for it and not wearing underwear. Yeah. Oh, I love it so much. I love it. It's like the way to my heart. You know, that's the outfit that turns me on the most that any girl can wear is a summer dress. I don't they're know hot. Why. But they're also like, they're so like innocent, mm-hmm. but they're like, yeah, doesn't mean the girl is though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of the favorite pictures I ever took of a, of one of my Mofa girls, you know, she's a porn star too, was Gianna Lynn. Um, we went to Huntington Beach and she was wearing a pink summer dress. Mm-hmm. Now I don't, I don't know if I asked her to take uh, to wear that or not, but she sits on the rail and she lifts it up. Oh my god, mm-hmm. that like turned me on more than mm-hmm. anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, really I definitely like whenever I'm going to like you know like AVN, like the red carpet or X Biz, the red carpet. We're supposed to wear like a nice dress. 
I don't think I've worn underwear once on them. Just because I love the idea of being like really dressed up in like a beautiful gown yeah. or a beautiful dress. And then like just in case I like it happens that I could be having sex in that dress. I just want to be like go off into a room and like pull it up. And I don't know, like sex and fancy clothes. I don't know. I'm a wardrobe stylist. So maybe yeah. that's something to do with it. But I'm like, so I don't ever wear underwear just because like it's a turn on for me. And it gives me more confidence on the red carpet because I'm like. You don't know that I could fuck anyone I choose at this right, this very moment. Look at her. Any moment. Look at her. <laughs> so every time you see me on a red carpet, just know that that's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn you. Damn you. <laughs> okay. We're almost out of time here. Oh, really? And we, got, we got to get to the sex toy segment. The sex toy segment, which you guys know, is I ask every porn star or guest if they have a favorite sex toy and to bring it. And Olive three. Glass brought some. Okay, why don't you so go ahead and talk about the first one and say why it's your favorite one before you even pull it out and then uh, okay. show it. So see what you need. you're going to laugh. One of them is just funny. Um, so, okay, this doesn't look like much. This is what I travel with. Okay. And you hold it on your fingers like this. I have... <laughs> Chocolate Get the microphone closer to you. Oh yeah. You okay, go. so this is my favorite one. And I took this all around the world with me because it's this tiny little thing, right? But it's like a Hitachi. You put it on your fingers and then you press a button. Can you hear that? Wow. And it's really powerful. You hear that? It's um It's like a little UFO, alien like. Cal Exotics is the one who makes it. And I, I actually did a review. that I got this because I did a review on this toy for Penthouse. Put it next um, to the microphone again. Wow. Yeah. And um, so it's so easy because I throw it in my bag when I'm traveling. Nobody knows what it is if it falls out. They're just like, what is this thing? And then it's so it's like super Yeah, exactly. Lucky. It's very quiet. Um, I honestly, I was staying in a hostel in Svalbard, and there were some p other people in the room, and it was the middle of the night, and I was like, I could still use yeah, you could use that anywhere. So I'm just like, they have no idea I'm coming right now. So um, that was really fun. Like, and then like lay, it lay it down right there on? in front of the microphone. No, just lay it oh, down. Yeah. Like, it, like if you seen that on the ground, there's no way you would know. No, it, like you, you could have that in your anything. cubicle on, the, on your desk. It's brilliant. Yeah, like you could just put it in your purse and take it to work with you. And then like, yeah, it's just, it's like, it's for everyone. Let me see it. Let me see it. Yeah. And it's a nice silicone. You can wash it. You can put it in water. And you charge it with a USB. Um, yeah. Fucking it? love it. This would feel good on my balls. Yeah, it would feel good everywhere. I've put it on yeah. my butthole before. It feels good in your butthole. Really, there's just you. C it's just for everyone. It's f it does everything. So I like that. Now, what is that again? What is it called? This is um I forget what this one's called, but it's by Cal Exotics. Okay. Uh, I th I think if you just go to the website, you'd be able. That's to find badass. It. That's badass because it's so. Uh, it doesn't look like anything. Yeah. It doesn't look like a sex toy. So I, gave, I, got, I did two reviews for two of their toys for Penthouse Magazine like a couple of months ago. This one I gave very high reviews. And then the next one is actually just a funny one that I wanted to bring because it's okay. like, sorry, Cal Exotics, Exotics, it's like the worst toy I've ever seen. Um, I love it so much. This suction, suction cups to your clitoris. And then watch what this does. This is, it's just, okay, see, it's like kind of on. <laughs> it flicks it, and it looks like a leech face with a tongue attached. Yeah, and it looks like some the, sort of little feel monster. The, feel the flickery of it. It's like, oh, it doesn't feel good. It's like having your clit flicked over and over again with like a fucking nickel. Yeah, like it, <laughs> like if you did if you did that to a girl with her like with your tongue, she would like push you away like in seconds. You hear that? You hear that? Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really funny. It just looks like it looks <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a, something you would see in Alien Covenant or something like that. Yeah, or like some sort of like weird phone. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I like that. You guys are rad, except for I don't know what happened here. <laughs> so there's that one. I just wanted to bring because it's hilarious. Yeah. I then, like the phone part. It just looks yeah. like, just like a phone. I was showing my roommate, and she's like, is that like a walkie-talkie? A like, phone you would see in Black Mirror. 
I love Black Mirror. <laughs> Hope you fuckers are watching. If you guys yeah. haven't seen Black Mirror, you got to watch it okay. on Netflix. And then the last one I just got the other day, and it's a very simple toy. It's this guy. Um, I forget the brand again. Um, but it's cool because it's... Um, is that glass? It is. It'll warm up, which I, that's why I really like glass dildos mm -hmm. because there's something about like the weight of it that feels really good and then when it's in your pussy it like warms up to the temperature of your pussy and so it's just like warm and nice and it doesn't yeah. feel like it doesn't feel like you're putting something like hard and glass up in yourself and up in yourself it's like really nice toy right and then also there's this end so that has it's there's multifunction so you can put this in your pussy or in your butt and you can u really use either end because this is kind of like perfect for buttholes. Yeah, and it, it slides in easily. And yeah, and I, um, over anything I could put in my butt, I prefer glass just because it's smoother, uh, doesn't soak up lube. Uh, like, you know, like your pussy is wet, it can create wet. You now, know? has anyone, anyone ever fucked you with that? I fucked myself with this yeah. just the other day for a shoot. Um, your asshole or your pussy or both? I just my pussy, but I really, I'm actually, so I'm, I love like DP stuff. I haven't ever done it on camera yet, but DP I really is double penetration, double penetration. No, because you, nobody's booked you for it. Or? Just because I, I just haven't done it. I haven't oh, okay. like worked my way up to that level yet. All right. But I will. It's going to happen because <laughs> it's yeah, like yeah. also a huge fetish of mine. And um, I don't know. I just like the multifunctional tool. Oh, let me see that. Yeah, it's great. I think they're, I think I've. So you guys can long. see that, and it's so pretty, right? It's like I got it from the hustler store cool. on the on the strip. On you the know, uh, years ago, my wife and I we got invited to a, a glass dildo party, mm. and they sat us all in a circle, and they brought out these <coughs> black pillows with um, glass dildos on them, and also with hot, hot wet towels. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah. It, it like it's so there's something just so nice like I don't know how else to describe it just like pleasant about it yeah and uh, and nothing happened of course my wife's pretty my wife's pretty conservative but yeah. we did end up uh, buying some stuff because <coughs> like whoever wanted I guess to like uh, I don't know have sex or whatever they went somewhere else it was kind of weird like people already knew what mm -hmm. to do like we kind of went to the backyard and the other ones i guess went to go fuck and i oh. was like trying was to go like over a there thing or like <laughs> you know you know what i think it was but we didn't know because <laughs> i met i met the girl at a convention because i have a clothing line yeah called mofo wear yeah yeah mofo wear store dot com. and uh you meet a lot of other people mm -hmm. that sell stuff and she sold glass you know glass dildos and yeah. she goes hey i'm having a party <coughs> why don't you come to the party and then uh, she goes and bring your wife. So I was like, okay. Just thinking it's a normal party. Right. And she probably thought, because it was a porn convention, and I had nothing but porn stars for models. And plus, I've directed porn. So she probably right. thought, oh, this fucker will be into it. Also, like, if you go to a party with dildos and a bunch of porn stars, I don't care what kind of party it's supposed to be. You, there's going to be sex going on. Oh, yeah. yeah. You get a bunch of porn stars in a room, and we just all start having sex it's just normal oh yeah we got we got <laughs> we got invited to a house party once and yeah. people were fucking everywhere and it's great because like we all know each other we all know that each other is like you know we get tested and so we have like we know the we can we, we just go crazy it's like why not yeah yeah it's, it's so beautiful it's so beautiful to have porn star friends mm -hmm. i'm telling you yeah we have you fun gotta, yeah uh so that's the sex toys yeah so that these are the sex toys um there's the travel buddy, uh, the, the travel buddy. I like the travel buddy. <laughs> the leech face, and then the multi-purpose glass dildo. I think I'm gonna get my wife the travel buddy. You should because she it's would also, love that. Like if she if she doesn't like toys to go inside of her, then yeah, this is yeah, like, exactly. It's so discreet and it's so quiet and it. My wife doesn't inside. like anything inside her and inside her, and she barely fucking likes me inside her. Yeah. So this would be perfect for her. So yeah. and she would also probably really like that you were thinking of it and got yeah, her something. Yeah, let me see that. Um, I look at that, honey. I'm gonna get that for you. How cool is that? You can have it right there at your desk. And nobody would know. You could mm -hmm. have it sitting out. Your boss could be by the desk and still just be like, "What is this?" And also, I wonder if it could work as a back massager. Be like, "Don't worry, it's my just my back massager." Your neck. 
Yeah. That's that's less convincing, but still. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now here comes the fuck you segment. The mm-hmm. fuck you segment is where we say fuck you to somebody who's just some, done some really shit, shitty shit in the world. We have two fuck yous tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, when, when, when I'm done, I'll ask you, well, I'll count to three, and then we'll do a fuck you to the camera okay. if you want. I'm okay. so ready for this. Here's the first one. This one happened in fucking India. Okay, listen to this. A bus driver gets into a crash, crashes the bus, fucking rolls over. <coughs> they get him. They take him to the hospital, okay? And uh, his leg is smashed so bad that they had to amputate, I think, it from, like, the knee down or something, from the calf down or whatever. And then when they're done with the surgery... You know, they put him out like in the hallway or whatever so his family can see him and stuff. And these fuckers, to be funny, right, to fuck around, they used his foot as a pillow. <gasps> Wait, what? Yes. Go to my Twitter, tw- uh, twitter.com slash mofaware or twitter.com slash canapornia. And I posted it two or three times today. And they have a picture He's unconscious on a fucking, you know, stretch, uh, stretcher bed, hospital bed, and his foot is under him. And you see the foot like and right there. And the family's there. coming in to visit? The family <gasps> comes out and sees him. And they fucking lose it. They're like, what the fuck? They're like, this is bullshit. And doctors, some of the doctors, they were saying, no, no, you have to leave him. You can't touch him. Then finally, like another doctor comes out like, you know, get super pissed off. What are you fucking oh you guys doing? Oh, my God. They take the foot off. They put another pillow, a real pillow. And I think the other doctor just got suspended or fired or whatever. But how fucked up is that? That's insane. Yeah. Well, you got to see the pose. <laughs> when you see the picture, you lose your mind. Now, here's another one that's just as bad. And this one happened here. God damn it. It happened in Idaho. Uh-oh. A fucking teacher. Listen to this. A high school teacher. After school, he takes some students or whatever, okay? This fucker feeds a live puppy, a little live puppy to a snapping turtle. I don't know if you fuckers know what a snapping turtle is. They're fucking hideous. And they and and they're they're, mean. Yeah, and they're mean. mean. And their fucking bite is like super strong. Mm. Anyway, and his excuse was, from what I remember, is that the puppy was super sick or that it was dying. But, f- dude, who gives a fuck? You know how painful that had to have been? I don't care how it, sick it was. It doesn't matter if it was right before death. You just don't do that to animals. Yeah. If a snapping turtle is going to eat, you put it out in its natural environment. You get a thing that it's supposed to eat. You don't feed live an- a live puppy in front of children yeah. to a turtle. Yeah. And one, of, can you believe it? One, they said that one of the parents said, "Oh, that's the circle of life." It is not the circle of life. How many times? No, it's the circle know? of assholes. Yeah, <laughs> that's of, what it is. Circle fucking. of sociopaths. <laughs> yeah, like, thank you. <laughs> like, okay, so on three, we're gonna do a fuck you to those doctors in India and fuck you to that teacher in Idaho. On three, one, two, three. Fuck, fuck you. you, big time. Fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> big time. Oh. Okay, so. Uh, we're almost done here. Damn. Let's see. I feel okay. like we've only been on air for like 10 minutes. No <laughs> shit. I really wanted to get into you with this because I got to have you back. Dude. You kicked yeah. ass. I got to have you back. Yeah. Um, would you be a breeder for aliens? Have you heard of this group called the hybrid children community? Yep. There are these women and they're hot. They're hot as fuck. Ooh, that um, kinky. I like it already. They, according to them, Aliens come down, <coughs> they have <laughs> sex with these reptilian aliens, and supposedly it's like the best sex ever. They get pregnant. This is with, real. Yeah, this is real. Okay. They're in uh, Arizona, Sedona, of Arizona. Of course <laughs> yeah. they are. And um, they have their babies. They're, ha- they're hybrid babies. Would you do something like that? Would you be a breeder? I mean, I, I guess I would like to see what kind of aliens they're fucking. Yeah. Uh, if it's the best sex ever, I mean, you know, I, I don't really know if I want to have children. I don't care what, what interdimensional species they happen to be. <laughs> she just wants to get fucked good. I just she wants you, somebody who will fuck her with a Coke bottle, goddammit. Yeah, damn it. What, if I don't, <laughs> what if I'm not a breeder? What if I'm just like, yeah. they're like, side piece? Right. 
<laughs> I'd be down for that. That sounds kind of hot. Like, yeah. I want to be probed. <laughs> yeah. Please. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are out of here. Thank you, Olive oh, Glass. Thank you. This was so much fun. Yeah. And uh, we will be here in two weeks. And like I always end. Oh, and I'm going to be on the Yo, Yo, Yo podcast with Martin Moreno. And uh, like I always end every show, what my tattoos say, believe in yourself. And que sera, que sera. sera. You're listening to California with your host, Mofo, only on LA Talk Radio.